Hello, my name is Rachel, for those of you that don't know me, and I am Dry White Show Fish Fry of the Year 2015. I thought that I would talk to you about my story, tell you my story, how I came to be involved in fish and chips and my experience within the competition itself. So the company that I work for is the Elite Fish and Chip Company. So it was set up in Lincolnshire in 1988 by my grandparents and my parents, first one in Wiskington. Yeah, so my grandparents and my dad. Uh, after winning fish and chips for the year in 1992, the company's expanded and has continued to do so over the years. We've had shops, sold them on, um, and now we currently have three in our portfolio. So, Muskington, the original one, Lincoln, and Sleaford, which is the newest addition. The opening of the Sleaford Junior brought the company into its third generation with me. So, how did I get involved? I have a video, but it's uh, it was a bit slow working. Um, I grew up watching my, my grandparents and my parents work hard to establish themselves and make a name for themselves. We used to live above the shop, so I was downstairs a lot of the time whilst they were working. Customers, you know, handling me and passing them to each other. Um, so yeah, I was involved from a very, very early age. I used to earn my pocket money on a weekend, cutting lemon, buttering breads, polishing cutlery. My granddad used to give me a five and I would spend it all on sweets. And by the time I was 15, I was working part-time as a waitress and a counter assistant. I absolutely love my job. For a lot of people at that age, I think that it's brilliant to be earning your own money. Um, but for me, it was much more than that. I always wanted to be there, I had a lot of fun, I used to look forward to Friday nights, queue out the door, uh, banter with the customers, seeing the same people come back week after week, you know, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, as part of my course, I had the opportunity to work for a year, and I was successful in securing a placement over in America with uh, a five-star hotel. My role over there was as a server in the fine dining, grill and seafood restaurant. The year was incredible. Um, Obviously, beach location was a big bonus, but it taught me a lot, particularly in terms of customer service. You know, the Americans are really, really big on that. And I realised at that point, you know, there's a lot of potential um, to apply that to businesses back in the UK, restaurants back in the UK. So I learnt a lot and uh, had a great year. When it came to doing my final year at uni, I didn't really want to be there. Having worked for a year and earned money, I felt that my efforts were better placed in practical rather than theoretical work. I, however, looked down, stupid hard. I'd spent God knows how much money on three years, and might as well spend another three grand on the last three years, and managed to graduate with a first class honours in hospitality business management, which is something that I'm very, very proud of. It was during my final year at uni that I began to look for career opportunities and I knew I wanted to go into restaurant management but I wasn't having much luck in the way of finding something that interested me. It was at that point that my dad came to me and made me an offer that would ultimately change my life. Part of his vision for the future of the Elite Fish and Chip Company, we just invested over half a million pounds in a brand new restaurant and takeaway outlet in Sleaford. Now this unit was to a little bit different to all the others in the sense that it was to offer a traditional product but in a very contemporary environment. The offer presented to me was to run this new unit. Now for anyone at 22 years of age, what a massive opportunity, you know, to be running your own restaurant and takeaway. But my decision wasn't immediate because I felt that, you know, it's a family business. If I was to say yes, I, it had to be a lifelong commitment. So I took some time and thought it over and my decision in the end came down to two factors. The first was that I always loved working for the company, you know, really enjoyed it and I had a particular interest in customer service as I've said and I saw the potential to really implement that here and make the most of it. And secondly, I wanted a challenge, I wanted a career, I wanted to get up in the morning and want to go to work and I, you know, I, I loved my time, I loved the company, and I loved the fishing industry, it inspired me. So I said yes, and in March 2012 we opened, and in three years since, my career has just gone from strength to strength. It was important to me from the start that I learnt the traditions set out by my grandparents and my dad from those people. So I spent a lot of time with them initially, learning from them, 
secret batter recipes and all that kind of thing. But apart from that, I was pretty much left to run the shop myself. So it's been challenging, it's been difficult. I've made mistakes and learned the hard way, but I think it's made me a far better businesswoman because of that. Through working with the company, um, in, you know, over the last few years, I've had a fair few successes. So, we've got the two award holders, running for the best chip of chips, second to Britain Road. Ranked amongst the 50 best fish and chip shops in the UK, two years running. Hopefully, we'll make this year three years running. And through the company as well, I've been able to take part in some fantastic things. So. We celebrated our 25th anniversary by raising over £27,000 for five local charities. To be able to give something back to the local community was incredible and something that I'm very, very proud to have been a part of. Through the fundraising, I started to be recognised outside of the industry for the achievements that I had made. So I was approached and asked if I would take part in a front of a magazine feature about young female leaders in family business and I was also asked if I would speak at a national conference for women in business. Now these were not only fantastic opportunities for me to talk about my career and my successes but to be able to promote the industry and all the hard work that goes into ensuring its longevity and you know telling people about the opportunities and um, potential it offers to young people that wanted a career within it so it's great it's been fantastic being a young career orientated woman when i heard about dry wet and fish for the year it naturally sparked an interest so i knew i had to go in that day and not only show that i had the potential to be the uk's number one new fish fryer but that i could talk confidently about the industry and show that I could be an ambassador for young people in the industry as well. I gave it my absolute all and hearing my name announced as winner was an incredibly emotional moment for me. I've been on such a journey over two years and not only, you know, seeing the changes in myself professionally but also personally as well. It's had a massive impact on my life. The competition for me, you know, it's honed my skills and made me a true professional in my trade and it's not only equipped me with the knowledge to train people better, train my staff better and improve my business, but it's provided me with links throughout the industry so that I can help play a part in shaping its future. It is given me heaps of confidence and I want people to be inspired and I want people to stand up and pay attention and say, Rachel Tweedale, Ryan Hughes, Johnny Leach, what fantastic representatives they are for our industry. And I truly believe that the Young Fires group is a force to be reckoned with and that by working together, we can help shape the future of the industry and make it great. For, you know, it's, it's great as it already is, but even better for not only us, but for generations to come. And I want to be a part of that. Thank you very much. Listen to you.